it was really twofold. One is to uh, announce the new set of protections that we're calling a, a new patient's bill of rights. If you were around during the mid-90s, you know that for about 10 years, Congress debated what they called a patient's bill of rights. It had some important consumer protections in it. Well, that never got done until now. It's part of the Affordable Care Act. So, for example, if you have a child with pre-existing conditions, that child now can't be discriminated against anymore. Um, it, it bans rescissions when they try to rescind your policy or uh, say it's no longer in force when you made an unintentional mistake on an application. Uh, it helps protect people's right to have the doctor that they choose. A woman can go to an OBGYN without a referral. So all those things are happening already. And real importantly, there's now going to be a ban on lifetime limits. And there's tens of millions of people in this country who have lifetime limits in their plan right now. They're cooperating and we're working together well. We've been reaching out to them and sitting down with them to understand their concerns and to make sure we're working together and implementing the new law. The president complimented them today on some of the things they've done, such as one of the benefits of the new law is allowing uh, kids to stay on their parents' plan until they reach age 26. And a lot of parents are saying that's really taking a burden off of their shoulders and making them feel better. And the insurance plans move to do that early. They don't have to do it until September, and they move to go ahead and say, we'll do it now.